Hi, happy Thursday morning, everybody. It's Donna with Donna's Deals and DIYs, and I'm back with a little God Time for Women devotional. And today we are on page 84, Governor of Your Mind. Please ignore the date on it. We think constantly about we, what we feed our bodies, whether we eat healthy food or junk food. We're at least aware of what we're consuming. It's a simple principle. What you pin in, you will get out. We know that if we continually feed ourselves junk food and candy, we will have low energy and poor health. We also know that if we eat balanced meals, we will feel better, look better, and function better. Our thought patterns can easily be compared to our eating habits. When we fill our minds and hearts with things that aren't of God, our thoughts will follow those directions. Our thoughts determine our actions and our words. When we meditate on scripture and fill our minds with godly things, our thoughts, words, and actions will naturally be those of life, peace, and truth. Those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things, but those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about the things that please the Spirit. That's Romans 8, 5. What is governing your mind, your flesh, or the Holy Spirit? Think carefully about what you put in. Recognize that it has a direct effect on what will come out. That is so good, and I need to remember that all the time, because even some of those self messages that you've heard from the past, some of those negative messages about yourself that keep playing in your head. I was <clears throat> thinking about something the other day, um, and I was talking to God, and I was like, you know, this person has just believed some lies, and I don't understand, and God said, Maybe you've also believed some lies. And that is not something I had thought about in that particular situation. And I'm like, yeah, you know. And it's true because the devil will tell you all kinds of things to get you upset. And to help you, or not to help you, but to hinder you from getting the healing that you want or to be able to completely forgive people that have hurt you. He will lie to you. And it was just very, very profound for me. And it it was kind of like one of those, you know it's God talking to you moments. Yeah, maybe you've also believed some lies. And so, <clears throat> and I don't know exactly what those are, but the fact that it was so clear that he said it to me made me think, it, I don't even know if it matters what they are. All I know is I need to realize that that's very, very possible and I need to still forgive and move forward. And I know the truth about me and my own life and who I am. And that's all that really matters and that God loves me and he knows the truth about me. So those are the things I know to be true. So if you focus on what is true, <laughs> I think is what the whole message is. Focus on the things that are true and good. So, hope you've enjoyed this devotional today. Please remember to email me at platware at yahoo.com if you have any prayer requests or if you want to know more about Jesus. And I do have a description box with a song of the day, that email address, and all the prayer requests that have come through that people have asked us to pray for. I thank you so very much for listening. Please hit the thumbs up. Please share me out. Please subscribe and please comment below because all of those things help my channel to grow. I appreciate you and remember that I love you, God loves you, and God bless you.